Imagine being a published author at eight years old. Well, that's the reality for one child in our area. CBS News Detroit's Alicia Bergio takes us to Detroit, Book City, where she introduces us to a talented young man from the Motor City who hopes his wisdom inspires others. I've been reading since I was two years old. Meet George Latham IV. A writer from Detroit. Volleyball players hit the ball back. With a bright future. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be the poet. When he started his current school now, um, they started calling him Mr. President. He's always had that leadership role to where he just always want to help and he always wants to just make sure that kids were, you know, happy. Latoya Latham, George's mom and momager, as she calls herself, says she asked her son a few years ago how he'd like to earn his own cash. I said I want to make a book because I love to read and I love to inspire others um, uh, to read too. At only seven years old, George published his first activity coloring book, I Can Be. His second book, I Can Be Sports Edition, released on his eighth birthday this past February. How does it feel knowing that you've written two books, not one, two books? It feels great because people are reading it all over the world. They can see uh, things that they might want to be when, when they grow up. An inspiration not only to other kids, but his family. It's very um, gratifying. I just, I can't believe that. He's my kid sometimes, and I just see him when he's doing his work and he's speaking and he's engaging with his peers, and I'm just like, wow, that that was never me. I'm, I'm the nervous one. It really warms my heart because he loves to do it and he's not forced. Working towards a dream, no matter the age. When people are reading your book, how do you want them to feel? I want them to feel happy. Wow, to be a published author at eight years old, so impressive. George says he plans to write his first chapter book next. That will come out in the next few years. In the meantime, he's hoping anyone who reads his current books feel inspired. In Detroit, Alicia Bergio, CBS News, Detroit.